Today is Monday, June 1st, and this is our final leg in our journey from Polk City, Florida, and from the Fort Myers area that we were probably for the last five months or so. And up until a few days ago, Miles was just cleaner than clean. But as we said in a segment uh, yesterday or when we pulled in here, that this coach and in particular Honda just got super, super dirty. So one of the things we're gonna do today is we are going to uh, take a little trip, a side trip right before we get into the park, we're gonna go to a blue beacon. Now, we're not big fans of blue beacon. We have uh, in the past tried to go there and weren't overly impressed on how things turned out. Uh, we're going to give it another try today to see if uh, we have better results. We got kind of spoiled. Uh, if anybody that's been on our channel for a while, they've seen that we had our RV cleaned and washed to absolute perfection at National Indoor RV. Uh, I believe that special was um, a Black Friday special. I want to think it was in the neighborhood of only $150. Uh, which was unbelievable. We're expecting... What would we call this? Detailing? It's called detailing, yeah. So, mm. if you were getting a full wax job now, they would take all the water off, they'd let it sit for a while, they might fool around with the tires, and as soon as it's dried off, they'd uh, start waxing it. In my next life, I'm gonna build a garage like this next to my house, and then I'll work Whoa. on it myself and save lots of money. <laughs> I gotta tell you, when these guys were doing the final wipe down, I caught myself telling them probably at least two or three times, hey guys, I got the Black Friday special. I got the cheap one. And they kept insisting, nope, this is the way we do it. So I'm here to tell you, I'm still impressed even while I'm doing the editing here. We're expecting it to be probably about, by the time I end up paying for all the bells and whistles, it's probably going to be about 60 bucks or something like that so we'll uh, make sure we put that in we're going to try to film as much as we can when we go through there we're going to be driving through chicago today prior to that hopefully we won't have any calamity there hopefully we'll get some good footage doing that so uh come on along let's uh let's have the exciting last climax leg on the way to our uh two month stay in wisconsin So the way it works here at Blue Beacon is somebody eventually will come out to talk to you prior to you entering into the wash bay. And what I did was told him uh, what I wanted done. We decided on a touchless double rinse on the outside. Uh, I got the Rain-X paint protection under carriage flush and got a citrus clean done on the wheels to get any of the grease that's off. Once you pull your rig in, you'll exit uh, out to a little office area and the lady will be there for you. You tell her again what you all had done and she'll ring you up, you'll get a receipt, you walk out, you wait till your rig is ready for you to get back into it and it's as simple as that. 
you'll notice that it was a drip dry operation, which is, uh, I guess, fully expected. Blue Beacon. Blue Beacon with a mask. I have to learn not to feel stupid with this mask. Yeah. Like the guy on the left has actually got the long wand. He's going up on the roof there with that. There she he is, looking shiny new. Wow. Four feet, three feet, two feet. Give it one more foot. A little more. All right, stop right there. See what you think.